Welcome back to B Cloud Group. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can allow an EC2 instance in one AWS account to access resources in other AWS account. This is the second video for a cross account access demo. In the previous video, we have seen how a user from one AWS account can access resources such as S3, EC2, DynamoDB, etc in a different AWS account by using AWS Management Console. I believe this demonstration would be of more practical value as this is a common scenario where you need to provide access to your servers rather than users to update your databases, your storage such as S3 buckets and which might be in a different AWS account. If you haven't seen the previous video yet, then I strongly suggest to watch that video before watching this one as that would give a better understanding of this demonstration. The link for previous video have been provided at the end of this video as well as a URL for the same has been given in the description box below. So please go watch that video and come back here again. That would make much more sense of this tutorial. So let's start guys. In the last video, we have seen that we have a trusted account and a trusting account. In this tutorial, we are calling them account A and account B. In the trusted account, we had users and in the trusted account, we had AWS resources such as S3, EC2, etc. And we created a cross account IAM role to provide access to the users in trusted account. We also saw that this assumed role operation was initiated by an API call to STS service. Once the request is made, Trusting account provides temporary security credentials by using them and by using them users could access the resources in trusting account. So what happens when we have EC2 instances rather than users in the same scenario? So let's see what are the steps to configure when we have EC2 instances instead of users for our cross account access. So we already have a trusting account B. In the trusting account, we already have an S3 bucket and for which already created a cross account IAM role. An S3 read only policy has already been attached to the role which will provide a read only access to S3 bucket and the role ARN account ID has already been given to trusted account. Now in the trusted account, we will launch an EC2 instance, create a role for this EC2 instance and we'll attach an IAM policy in this role to assume the role which was created in the trusting account. EC2 assume the role by using AWS CLI command that is AWS STS assume role and provide by providing role ARN and the session name. So let's see how we can configure the same in a AWS management console. Let's log into the AWS management console. So this is my trusting uh, trusted account where we will have EC2 instance. So let's launch an EC2 instance quickly. Currently, we don't have anyone, so we'll launch one. I'll go for this uh, free tier MX, uh, Amazon Linux AMI instance details. I need only one. I'll keep everything at default. Currently, I'm not assigning any role to it because we'll create a new role and we'll assign to it. Add storage. We'll keep it at default. I'm not adding tags at this point of time. Security groups, I would try to go for a Let me create a new security group Add role All that is not needed, but I would be requiring this HTTP port later on. So that's why I have, I have done Anywhere Anywhere, so I'll go and review and launch Sorry, I have not given the name here. So this is my roles security group. Roles security group one. Review and launch and launch. I have access to this uh, VPC key. I acknowledge that I have access to this key and launch the instance. Now the instance is being launched. So we can go and see the progress here. In the meantime, this uh, gets initialized. Let us go and check what do we have in the 
trusting account so this is my trusting account and this is the bucket which we are going to be, uh, which we are going to access and i'll show you what are the im role which we have already created here let's go to the im service in the trusting account so this is my im dashboard if you look at the roles this is the role which i have already created for this cross account purpose so this is the cross account role let's go and check the permissions this is the arn which we need to provide to the trusted trusted account and this is the policy which we have applied to our this role and which would provide a read only access to the s3 bucket so that's what we have done let's go back to our trusted account and see what is the status of our ec2 instance so it's running and it's getting launched in the meantime this is fully functional i'll go and create an iam role for this particular ec2 instance so I'll go and click on iam So what we are going to do is we are going to create an IAM role and we'll apply a policy so that this IAM role can access the other role or can assume the other role which is in the trusting account. Let's go to the roles, create role. This time it, this is not another AWS account or cross account role. This is an AWS service account role because this has to be assumed by EC2 service or EC2 instance. I'll click on EC2. I'll go to next permissions. Tags. I'll be providing the permissions later on. Tags. I'll give it a name. Name of the role would be EC2 cross account. EC2 cross account. review role name i'm giving ec2 cross account role it allow ec2 instances to assume the role in the different account so i'm changing the description from the default which was there earlier and create role now the role have been created we'll go and create a policy create a policy so as i said we would be creating a policy first we'll choose a service the service in this scenario would be sts so this is the service sts service we'll be using and what is the action which we require we require assume role so it is under the right and i'll go provide assume role as an operation now the resources if you remember we have to provide the role arn which we already created in the trusting account so let's go i have already copy pasted it here this role so let me copy it here this is the role arn control c come back here add arn here we go add so this has been added review policy name of the policy assume role for ec2 so this is what i am giving let me put the same description here this is the description as well create the policy you can see this is your service this is the access level and this is the arm which we have provided so create policy so it will create a policy now let's go to roles again which we have just created so that was my ec2 cross account role so i'll click it and it says there's nothing here so we, because there is no policy attached so we have just created a policy we'll attach a policy so what were the policy we'll go to customer managed policy and see which one we have so this is the ec2 cross account policy i have so i'll select this one attach policy so this is the policy if you want you can have a look at the policy what does it what, what it's all about so you can see allow assume role and this is the, the json script of the policy let's go back So we have 
create the policy and attach to our roles. So this was our role. If you see, the policy has already been attached. Now let's go back to our EC2 dashboard and let's log into the EC2. Hopefully by now it must be ready. Running instances. Yes, it's ready. So let me copy the public IP and let's go into the petty. <clears throat> this is my petty console. I'll go there. SSH auth browse ppk for this one. Open. Let's see. Yeah, it's logging in. I'll log in as EC2. That's user. That is the default Linux username. Enter. And let me clear the screen first. Mm. Okay, so if we try to access S3 now from the command line interface, so it should give me, yeah, unable to locate credentials. I cannot access any S3 because no role has been provided to this one. Now we'll go and attach the, our newly configured role to this AC2 instance. So we'll go, it's already selected, actions, go to instance settings, attach and replace I am role. So it should be visible here by now. This is my newly created role, EC2 cross account role. I'm gonna attach it to my EC2 instance. So it's done. Let's go back to our console again. It would still not be able to run it because, because we do not have any permissions assigned for, for this particular EC2 instance to access the S3 bucket or list them in this in, in its own account. So what we are going to do is now we are going to provide access to the buckets in a different AWS account. So what we are going to do is first we will run the command AWS STS assume role. Let me copy paste the remaining ARN as the so this is my ARN as well as the full command. I have typed it here to save some time. Control C. Okay. So here we go. Now it we should get a this. See, once we run this command, this security services has provided us with a access key ID as well as a secret access key and a session token for this particular session. So what we need to do is now we need to export these credentials into this particular session and for that we need to copy and paste this into uh, first we need to copy and paste it into a text file so that we can remove line wraps because it has to be pasted as a single line so i'll pause the video and come back I'll come back again once i'm ready with this copy and paste operation so guys we have uh, uh, prepared our this access key IDs and session token commands. Let's go and copy and paste them here. We will be using export command to export these access key and secret access key into our session. For Windows host, you can use set command to set the environment variables. So this is how we do it. This is my access key. This is my secret access key enter now we need to provide the session token as you need to make sure that there should not be any spaces or line breaks in between let me see it should hopefully it had been copied properly it's done so we are done with the providing credentials for this particular session. These are temporary credentials and after some time they will expire. If you see, there's an expiration already given here. Once the token was issued, it was issued with the expiry date or expiry time. So let me see if now I can access the S3 bucket or this EC2 can access the S3 bucket in a different account. See, here is the bucket name which was there in the trusting account. I'll show you. This is was the bucket in the trusting account. Here it is, here it is, cross around demo, and this is what we have here. So if you can go, you can S3 colon See, this is the text file which already we have inside. 
if you open this one you will see a text file this is the text file inside so that's it guys that's how you do it